To achieve broderie en grey, one of the classic motifs that are used are the eyelet, and that's the main thing we'll be showing you in today's tutorial. You want to start with pressing your fabric. Here I have a straightener, my bad. Then I will split my embroidery floss to make it less bulky. You're gonna need a piece of fabric, I use muslin, thread a needle, a marker, a seam ripper, and something to poke a hole in. So here I'm sketching out my design. I did three circles and a crescent. To start, you're gonna want the tail on the front and you're gonna want to do a running stitch along the outline of the circle. Next, you take the seam ripper to poke a hole in the middle. The widest thing I had was a corkscrew. I went in with that after to widen the hole. So you make the hole however big you want it, and then basically you do a straight stitch along the circle, going in through the hole and out through the fabric. You want these stitches to be close, kind of like a satin stitch, and at the beginning you're going to want to catch the tail so you can trim it off. So here I am finishing up the last couple Couple stitches and what you're gonna want to do here is bring it back through to the back of the fabric and weave it in between some of the threads to avoid knots and bulks. Next I'm gonna do the crescent so it's kind of the same technique we saw in the beginning with the tail at the front. You're gonna want to do a running stitch along the outline and when you make your way back to the front of it you're gonna want to pierce the knot you made so that you can cut the tail away. Okay, so now for the solid crescent, we're doing a blanket stitch. I'm putting my needle underneath one side of the fabric to come up the other side. When it comes up the other side, I'm wrapping the thread behind the needle and pulling through. So here I am all done, just doing the same technique of wrapping the threads within the thread so I don't need to knot it. And there you go. Mm -hmm. 